This video is a little bit different. It's about riding bikes, but it's about riding bikes to get rid of this. So, I've heard a lot of people saying things like you can't lose weight just by riding bikes alone. Now, this can't be true, because otherwise the Tour de France riders wouldn't have to get woken up in the middle of the night to get given some extra food so they can get enough calories in for the day's riding, uh, and they wouldn't be getting that cheeky little blood transfusion at night either. Well, I suppose that's probably more about red cells, but hey. Um, let's say your body can take in, say, six to 8,000 calories a day. Um, you can easily burn that just by riding for eight hours a day. Now, who's got eight hours a day? Not me, probably not you. Um, so one of the things we're going to have to do is cut down on the most ex the most unhealthy high calorie rubbish that I've been eating. Now, I'll show you a picture of what I've been eating for the snack. Um, now, I'll show you another picture of what I should have been eating for a snack. So, I guess just by cutting down on, well, for myself, it's going to be things like cans of Monster and Coke and Iron Brew and that sort of thing. Um, and changing a little bit of what I'm doing. Uh, I'm doing a little bit of extra riding every week. I'm going to try and get it up to 100 k's. Then I should, hopefully, if I'm lucky, be able to be fit by the time I'm 40. So I've got six months to go. 30th of June is my birthday. Um, and it's uh, New Year's Day, basically. Uh, so start of the year to the 30th of June, I'm going to try and get myself fit, fit for racing, lose a bit of weight, get myself down to... Mm, well, hang on. Here's how much I weigh now. Oof. Now, when I was at racing weight a couple of years ago and I was feeling good and fit and healthy and I was finding it really easy to do things like the Tweed Love Bike Festival and stuff, absolutely no effort real. Well, no effort's probably an exaggeration, but um, no real challenge to do the 50-odd do the k's of riding and that sort of stuff. Um, I weighed 90 to 91 kilograms, so let's let's call that an extra... Let's be let's be safe because I was holding my phone when I was taking that video. So let's just say I've only put on twenty kilograms. That's what forty four pounds. Hardly anything. <laughs> um, so basically, what I'm going to do is try and ride hundred odd k's a week uh, on my mountain bike whenever I can. Um, do a little bit of extra commuting to work on my bike. Uh, all that kind of stuff. Maybe do a couple extra gravel rides. Try and change what I'm doing. Try and make sure that when I am doing work at home, then I do things like building decks and hoovering and that kind of stuff rather than the more sedentary sort of housework tasks and um, you know cutting the grass a little bit more often that kind of thing no one's going to complain at home about that now I've also got two little kids uh, one and three and um, so taking them out and riding their bikes and instead of me taking a bike with me or doing anything like that I'll, I'll just run along beside them so just basically doing simple things to make it that I'm burning more calories and uh, simple things like making sure that I'm not eating so much crap is, is basically what I'm going to do. Now the reward I'm going to give myself at the end of this, which I should probably mention to my wife at some point because you know I've kind of got quite a lot of bikes, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to build myself a new enduro bike for the next racing season and I'm going to start racing again because I'm way in the over 40s category, presuming there is an over 40s category here. Um, so looking forward to that. Next year I'm going to do some racing if I've managed to get rid of my extra 20 kilograms of uh, ballast. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna gonna make a couple of videos about this. So hopefully you join in and take the same sort of challenge that I'm taking for myself. Uh, give yourself a nice reward at the end of it. Plan yourself a new set of forks or something else. Um, maybe some bike lessons. I don't know what you're gonna do. Uh, anything that you really fancy. Uh, I can actually, um, I can definitely recommend giving yourself a prize sort of at the end of what you're gonna try and do because it, it does make things easier when you've got sort of that that that, um, that thing to look forward to. So you know, pick yourself something that's maybe. A little bit of a treat uh, and add that in. By treat I don't mean a chocolate cake, um, I'm, I'm thinking a set of forks, I'm thinking some new suspension for your bike, I'm thinking a tune-up or like a buy yourself a gravel bike or you know something really cool that you're going to enjoy um, and that you can look forward to and you can kind of remind yourself when you're just about to smash that third can of monster in the day while you're playing computer games or something that it's time uh, to cut down a little bit and you know get out on that bike. So thanks for watching um, and I hope you hope you join my, my journey and I also hope I'm pretty successful. Who knows what's going to happen. Uh, I think I've been following this little little piece of advice a little bit too much recently and making far too many tacos and not enough war on the pounds. <laughs>
So, stick it in the comments down below, please. What bike should I get myself once I've managed to get myself to the, the target weight and the target performance level, which is basically being able to race enduros in the over 40 age group and having a good chance of getting on the podium. Uh, I do live in New Zealand, so the people who I'm racing against are exceptionally fast. Um, it's not it's not easy to get on the podium here. Um, so, uh, yeah, what should I buy? I'm thinking things like a, maybe a Santa Cruz Mega Tower or a Poli or a, something cool like that. I'm never really quite sure how to pronounce that pole, pole bike, but I do I do quite like the look of them. Um, yeah, anything like that. It's going to have to be a 650B or 29er bike, and it's going to have to be long travel and duro sort of thing. But yeah, anything anything else at the moment. I'm riding a last edition carbon Trek slash with Fox 36s and Hope brakes and um, SRAM GX. I look well, so I've upgraded the Fox shock. I've upgraded the rear shock to a Fox X2 factory because I didn't like the standard one. Um, I've increased. I've, I've changed all the dampers out and uh, upgraded the Fox as well, so it's the same chassis but the different um, internals from my old set of factory 36s. Uh, so yeah, anything like that. It just needs to be something that's a little bit sturdy because I'm a bit of a, a bit of a bike damager when I'm riding fast. So. Let me know what I should build and let me know what should be my my uh, reward. I'll decide what my reward's going to be when it comes to maybe about March or April 2021. Uh, and then hopefully I'll be able to order it or buy it in time for my birthday if uh, I'm looking like I'm going to succeed in my goal of getting fit and healthy and losing a bit of weight by then. Thanks for watching. See you later. Like and subscribe.